Known as the Blue-Eyed Soul Singer, Danny Liston's Everybody album is resonating with music fans around the world. I called an old friend of mine, Jim Gaines, who's a Grammy Award-winning producer. He's done Stevie Ray Vaughan and Journey and Santana. The list goes on and on. I met him doing an album with Mama's Pride and told him, I just feel like you and I need to do another record together. And he said, I agree. He goes, but I want this one to be about vocals, not all guitars. I want you to cut a Blue-Eyed Soul record. He goes, that's where your wheelhouse is. I had major players, guys that I've been extremely fortunate enough to work with before. They're like the Memphis A-list rhythm section. Steve Potts and Davey Dave Smith. Uh, Will McFarland, who plays with the Swampers and Muscle Shoals. Used to play with Bonnie Raitt for like 10 years. Rick Steff played keyboards, and Mark Naramore played some piano on it, so it was really cool. And they make you feel like you're the main artist on the planet, like nothing else matters but your music. You bring your ideas, and then they make all their own notes, and then you record it. And they'll throw ideas in themselves, you know. Uh, you know, it's like, it's kind of crazy when they're like, yeah, remember when we did this thing on uh, the Paul Simon record? And I'm like, yeah, that ought to work. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to be fine with me. The album's title track, Everybody, shares an uplifting message for today's world. I get concerned that people are becoming individuals um, in the wrong areas, that they feel like, I don't, you know, I can isolate. And it's like, no, man, isolation, that's not a good thing. People need people. You know, if you've got a problem, it's good to share that problem because you might think you're the craziest guy in the room and you share that problem with somebody and you find out there's 10 people within an arm shot of you that have that same issue. You know, so you realize it's not all you. And um, so I just felt like, because the chorus says, everybody needs somebody's help. Ain't nobody can do it all by themselves because everybody needs somebody else. And we do, everybody needs someone in their life. The track also features stellar vocalist, Becca Bramlett. She sang on a lot of Johnny Lang stuff, Lie to Me, stuff like that. Just an amazing, amazing vocal. She blew me away. I was, in my opinion, her, her vocal lifted that song. I mean, it, it took it from being a good song to a great song. For the intricate harmonies needed for the song Old Friend, Danny enlisted his brother and Mama's Pride bandmate, Pat Liston, to record the tracks. I just sent him the track and said, you know, send it back to me when you're done. And like two days later, he sent it back and I gave it to Jim and he's like, well, this is perfect. It's like having two of you. Mama's Pride celebrated 50 years of music with a sold out concert at the pageant last December. It's the history of Mama's Pride that prepared Danny for the successful Everybody album recording process. The thing with Mama's Pride was, and it's what made Mama's Pride Mama's Pride. You'd bring a song to Mama's Pride, and no matter how you wrote it, how you heard it in your head, we always called it, it would, it would be prideicized. You know, by the time it ran through the motor and, and we rehearsed it, it became a Mama's Pride song. Being part of a band prepares you for that stuff so it's not intimidating. It's, it's more like you just put yourself back in that frame of mind and you're comfortable in that environment. One of the album's most inspirational songs is A Change Has Come. It is in this song that Danny reveals his uplifting story of recovery and redemption. He recently celebrated 35 years of sobriety. That's kind of like a personal testimony of my life you know, through my addiction issues. There's stuff that goes along with addiction issues. Once you get sober, it's not like, hey, I'm sober. Now I've got it all together. There's stuff that, made, it, that took you to that place. And you need to dig deeper and find out what that is. And through my faith, I was able to do that and, and find out what a lot of the ugly parts of my life were and try to rectify those. I mean, I'm far from perfect, but I'm better than I used to be. So that song is kind of like a celebration of change has come over. The upbeat song, Goodbye Jack Daniels, is going viral worldwide as the recovery anthem. Goodbye Jack Daniels and the powder from the room. I want to get on with my life So there's only
have a song that had a uh, kind of a happy chorus, you know, almost like uh, a cleaned up version of Call You a Cab. Um, but I wanted the verses to be a little more serious, like, look, we're dealing with a real issue.